Ugh. Oh, me uh, metal, are you okay? I, 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 I'm, 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 Random blew himself up after getting us into this air shaft. Random. Gillian, that explosion should have taken all of Queen's Hospital with it. The thick walls of this duct must have shielded us from enough of the blast. If it wasn't for Random, we wouldn't have made it. Oh, Random. Gillian, we have no time for grief now. We must get back to Junker Headquarters as quickly as possible. Harry and Mika are in danger. You're right, and I have to keep my promise to Random. But first, we have to figure out how to get out of here. I can't see a thing. What should we do?
What in the world? This is part of the tube liner, the city's long abandoned subway system. You mean Queen's Hospital and this were connected? Yes, it would appear that the Snatchers were using this to move from place to place. This would provide them with the perfect way to move about while still avoiding the ultraviolet rays they hate so much. We should have realized this sooner. The city is crisscrossed by the tube liner's old lines, and since they are abandoned, the Snatchers could move undetected as well. Aha! Uh -huh. That's how those two we caught a glimpse of at the abandoned factory where Gibson was killed were able to disappear so quickly. They must have used this subway. That would appear to be correct. The tube liner passes underneath that factory site as well. That would also explain why sand from the factory was in the air duct at the hospital. So this is the trick they were using to stay out of the sun and avoid being seen while they moved around. Now we know why it took so long to uncover them. Alright, let's follow the subway. We should be able to get out when we get to the nearest station.
Metal! Light! Yes, but this doesn't look like a station. There's a ladder! Where do you suppose it leads, Gillian? I don't have the slightest, but let's climb it and see. Alright, now climbing the ladder. We seem to have emerged into an odd place. Wait, this room! It's Freddie Nielsen's bathroom! He was using this shaft from the bathtub to get down into the subway. So that's how he did that. Ah, uh, yes. As I recall, after you disposed of Lisa, he somehow entered the apartment without using the regular entrance. Which he accomplished by using this secret passage into his bathtub. The bathtub must be of a double construction. The bottom is actually a lid. When they wanted to hide the passage, all they needed to do was fill the tub. And to get in and out, they would just drain the water into another tank. Jeez. Double bottom bathtubs? Abandoned subways? Snatchers really go out of their way to stay out of the sun. Okay, Gillian, let's head outside.
Is he dead? He's junk now. Stubborn one, wasn't he? Jeez. He made it through that explosion and was waiting for us out here. If those things ever get control of the city, there's no way we'll ever get it back. We've got to stop him before that. And to do that, we have to prevent the Chief from getting to the Kyoto Summit. I know. And I have to pay back my debt to Random. Let's use this taxi to get back to Junker Headquarters. I planned on it. I just hope Mika and Harry are safe. <laughs> <laughs>